All right, so I am out uh, on an unspecified low country river with Ashby Gale. We're out here looking for fossils for the museum, and a few minutes ago I found this. This is a reenactment. I said some rather choice words when I found it that are not appropriate for general consumption. You can imagine what they were. Um, but I found this little blob. It's actually not that little. Here's my hand for scale. Well, that makes it look pretty little. Uh, this is an ear bone of an early baleen whale. And this is more or less how I found it. Um, they are much bigger than the periodics or ear bones of a dolphin. This one is about two to three times the size and about 10 times the, the weight of one. Um, so let's go ahead and wash it off. And what we're looking at here, set that down. This lump right there is the part of the ear bone that houses the cochlea. So when somebody has a cochlear implant, the spiral organ that converts sound waves into nerve impulses is housed in that. And if we turn it over, this little hole right here transmits the nerves that go directly into the brain. It sits like that in the skull. Uh, these are different holes for different types of fluid. Uh, this is for I think cochlear fluid, and that's for vestibular fluid. And then the stapes, the stirrup out of the three middle ear ossicles, sits in a hole that's obscured here. There's a little bit of matrix covering that up, but right under there is the hole that the stirrup, the innermost of the three middle ear ossicles, fits into. This is a periodic of an eomysticeted baleen whale. Eomysticetes were mostly toothless, but the first major baleen-bearing whales and the first, uh, first whales of this group were found right here in the Charleston area. They're quite archaic. Even toothed baleen whales like Coronadon have more uh, advanced looking ear bones than this. For whatever reason, Eomysticetids have ear bones that are very similar to basilosaurid whales, the common ancestor of baleen whales and echolocating dolphins. I have been looking for one of these for the last five years since I got here to Charleston. I've always wanted to find one. There are only about four or five ever found in South Carolina. Um, and they're split between collections at the Mace Brown Museum and the Charleston Museum. And this is one of only five or six total. Um, and the first one I have personally found. So I am very happy. Uh, I can never come back to this locality because now I have uh, expectations that are far too high. I will be disappointed every other time I come here. No offense, Ashby. So, anyway, yay, time for a beer. <laughs>